what's happening YouTube Chris from NCG here and today we're going to be talking about a card that was just confirmed to be in Duelist Saga it is the Vi Vision Hero Vion uh, this card is very good uh, I'll read its effects for you in case you don't know when this card is normal summon or special summon you can send one hero monster from the deck to the graveyard you only just affect a Vision Hero Vion once per turn and then once per turn you can banish one hero monster from your graveyard add one polymerization from your deck to your hand uh, so that's exactly what heroes needed outside of Stratos. Um, this this card is really really good. <laughs> like most of the effects uh, nowadays, that's two. Uh, both of them are outstandingly good uh, for different uses. Obviously, this card completely uh, replaces Blazeman. Blazeman is obsolete unless you want to play more copies of this card. Uh, but you don't need Blazeman anymore. This card does it. Uh, there's another card in Dula Saga, uh, Elemental Hero Honesty Neos. During the player's turn, you can discard this card, target one hero you control, it gains 2500 attack points until the end phase. And its other effect is when it's on the phase would, or field, which will never happen. Uh, so this is an example deck list. Uh, this is Toad Hero. There is other variants you can, of course, include uh, Vion into because of the poly. Basically, a... Uh, Fusion heroes, there'll be some trinkets, you can play like fusion recovery, blah 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 blah. This is Toad Hero. Uh, I'm playing it because Vion is a one card absolute zero. Because you go Vion, Ditch Shadow Mist, Search Bubble Man, Banish Shadow Mist, Search Poly. Uh, one card absolute zero. Absolute zero is pretty good for board breaking. Um, and then he's a dark uh, for mass change for dark law. Really, really good. Uh, but mostly he just sets up all the two plays by just directly. He has Stratos in respect when he's normal summon or special summon. If he sends Shadow Mist, he basically searches a hero. He doesn't have the Alrighteous Dust effect, but that doesn't matter. Uh, he's got the search effect. So, I'm not going to go through the deck list because it should be pretty obvious. Um, all the cards there. Imperial Order <laughs> replaces Emptiness, basically. Um, playing one space time trap hole for the Rafflesia, yeah. Uh, traps, good good stuffs. Uh, Rikaki, uh, twin twisters for the Paleozoic stuff. Um, options, let's talk about them. Kaiju's, you could be playing uh, them in the deck at on slumber just for going second. Uh, similar to have Rikaki, but Rikaki is only one card. I do preferably want to go first you could play the list similar to the last time heroes got a ycs top i do believe playing into the voids basically it was a very uh trap light deck uh just played a lot of draw cards uh so it was arguably good first and second the guy preferred to go second you could completely go down that route if you wish uh gam seal is a water for absolute zero so that's handy uh, in that sense, so you can do that, that's an option. The other deck you can play is the Malicious Zulkin Hero deck. So yeah, uh, Vion is a Armageddon Knight for the deck that's searchable with a emergency call, Rhoda, and can be summoned off a Hero Lives. Very, very helpful. Get just more copies to get Malicious in the grave. Uh, the do all your plays, uh, make or sync with the Coral Dragon to make Sulkin, draw a card. You, if you've seen the deck before, you know what it does. Just that the deck has now more copies of Armageddon Knight, essentially. Way, way more copies of Armageddon Knight, actually. Uh, so the deck is more consistent. Um, you can play, choose to play Fusion Substitute instead of Poly. It's just the Fusion Substitute uh, has to be on the field, whereas Poly helps empty your hand to make Bubble Man live. Whereas Fusion Substitute is more of a reward if you open well. Because you can put stuff like Norden back or the Absolute Zero or a Dark Law to draw a card. That is really, really helpful. It's just uh, Honesty Neos can clutter the hand, especially going first. Um, so just getting it out of the way uh, just to summon, uh, just clear up for Bubble Man. Uh, but like I said, Fusion Substitute is absolutely an option. Fusion Substitute would be played in the Zulgan Hero deck because you make um, Dragoon of the Knight, the one that mimics uh, Synchro Dragon's effect. Obviously Zulgan. So you play that, the draw a card. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Summoner Monk. It's kind of weak, the effect negation. Uh, just hand traps in general. Uh, it's pretty rough. Uh, it's 
it's kind of fragile, but I think I've got enough copies of the combo cards and the starter cards, so I don't think I need Summoner Monk, but it is an option. Maxi, I would love to play it, um, but it's just the fear of cluttering with Bubble Man. But it's absolutely an option. I may indeed, when I come to actually building the list, this is just, of course, a sample list, uh, I may include Maxi. You can play uh, Rare Fish, just if you want to be safe with your instant fusions. Do not think it's worth the space. Uh, I really don't, but you can absolutely play it. I uh, hope Woven Shark is another exciting who needs two level 4s. Uh, two level 4 waters, which this deck can do absolutely no problem. Uh, the effect is, attach the material, all monster put of control, lose a thousand. Uh, and destroy by battle card effect, except the graveyard, you can uh, monster reborn one monster in your grave. So this just aids the sort of OTK factor the deck has, thanks to honesty Neo. So like making... Uh, Dark Law, like 49 or an absolute zero, um, 20 f or sorry, 5000 plus because of its gaining attack as a water monster's effect. Like, it's just a really aggressive deck now, thanks to Honesty Neos. Um, it does put in work, but you can play that if you want. Castell, if you do fear Imperial Order, because Imperial Order hurts this deck. Because currently in my extra deck, I don't play any ways of getting rid of Imperial Order, I just kind of lose to it. So you can. Definitely play Castell. Uh, Castell is a good card anyway. But if you want a uh, way to get rid of Imperial Order, he's your man. Merkle Fusion, just as another good card going second, just to help clear boards. Um, good top deck. Make zero. Yeah, you can play that if you want. Just more power spells in the deck are never bad. Fusion Subject recovered. Um, mass Change 2, just to turn the Tingle Fishes are. Well, yeah, this thing will fish, I suppose, into acids against like the Paleozoic matchup, or if your Tingle is about to get chaliced, you can mass change to it. It's effect will resolve, and um, you get an acid and whatever you're about to special summon. So hopefully a Vion or a Shadow Mist. So mass change to could be played. Um, if we can click on it. Warrior turning alive, back to the old days of the Hero TK. Because this deck can't, is possible now, the sort of heavy OTK variant. It's probably really inconsistent. Um, but again, you know, all you need to do is open this card and you're well on your way. Uh, you could you could definitely play the OTK variant of Warrior Triangle Alive. Return the Honesty Neos, which is really sweet. Um, just to do more damage. Um, yeah, return Bubble Man for more XCD plays. Um, play more traps if you want. Storming Mirror Force, really good. Any Mirror Force. But I just want to play the minimum amount of traps, just to be good going second and first. The traps I'm playing are just way too good. The only cuttable one is the Space Trap Hole and the Rafflesia. Perfectly cuttable, like I said, just an example list. But Dimensional Barrier and Strikes and Parallel Order, they're all stable, really good cards. Uh, lastly, as an option, you could play Protect the Castle with Dark Law, so you're playing even more copies of it. It's just with the inclusion, uh, or well, more ways to get to it, not really more copies, but more ways to get to it because you're playing darks. Um, I don't really like it though, because Vion just gives you more um, more decision trees, basically. Uh, it's more than just Dark Law dot deck. Uh, like I said, it is a one card up to zero, which is pretty sweet. It just helps your exceed plays, helps get to Bahama Shark Toad a lot easier, and just cement your board. So... Uh, you could play Protect the Castle by all means. Uh, I just do not think it's wise. Why am I talking about this deck? Not just for the fact that this card is just released and it's new and blah blah blah. This deck is insanely powerful. The ceiling for it is massively high thanks to this consistency card. Um, it is not just three cards. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more cards out of the deck essentially. Just more options, uh, higher decision trees, higher ceiling. Uh, Darkla is outstanding this format against the two rumoured best decks, which are Paleozoic and Infernoid. This deck eats them. Uh, your opponent goes, activates Longmoy next door, flip the mass change, Darkla, GG. And Toad is Spice, of course. Setting up fields of Darkla and Toad are nothing to uh, shake a stick at. So yeah, this is the deck. I'm really happy this card got announced uh, for the Duel Saga. I didn't think we would get it so soon because it's not been out that long in the OCG. But uh, I am mean, really, really happy we got it. So yeah, are you happy about this card? Uh, what hero variant, if any, are you going to be playing? Uh, I personally think the Sulkin hero is way more fun. But competitively, uh, I think this 
the Toad Hero has got a massive boost. Could be up there, tier 1 again. Uh, let's see. This is Chris from NCG signing out.